The secret sauce that we have is uh, getting buy-in. It's incumbent upon each of us to make sure that it continues and people have the responsibilities being a staff member to make sure that the culture maintains itself. The most embarrassing thing I've done actually happened pretty recently. Uh, I went to grab uh, some papers off the copier and I'm reading this document intently as I'm walking back to my office and I make the left as I'm still reading and walk into the glass wall that's just before our door frame. It was graceful, bounced right off of it, yeah, priceless. Our secret sauce really is that we live what we believe and we each take a turn talking about what it means to us. So, and then we're really practicing these behaviors in real time and we're getting better at them over time. Uh, the one word I would use to describe our company culture is accountability. So we have this really nice mix between our employees feeling accountable to our clients, but also accountable to one another. I would use the word caring to describe our company culture. So from the experience to the corporate office, caring is something I think you would see through and through. It would have to be family. We help one another, we rely on one another, we pay attention to one another to see how people are doing, and so it's, it's really a feeling of family. I might make a lot of mistakes, sometimes probably saying the, the wrong name of a client. I switch them, that's very embarrassing. I will say that that probably has been the most embarrassing days. Well, the uniqueness um, probably comes from that, that accountability, right, that fosters teamwork, that really fosters almost a familial attitude. It's like, it's like a family environment. Uh, we have a mission statement. Um, we used to have a very long one that we couldn't, I couldn't describe to my staff, so we came up with a two-word mission statement, which is inspire loyalty. And when we first rolled it out, I think we were focusing on our guests and, and we wanted to not be a cookie cutter restaurant. We wanted to really have a, an experience where people would come back and be loyal. As the CEO of the company, my job is to describe a compelling image of what our future could look like and then unleash the innovative spirit of the employees to bring that vision into reality. Best piece of advice I've received was from a client, actually, who taught me that you can't use black and white rules to manage people. And so what I really strive to do and ask others to do in organizations is to really master living in the gray and not live by black and white rules. Our secret to building a successful culture is to hire the right people who view that job as not a job, but as a calling. I gave every employee $100 at the beginning of the year that they could give out to their fellow employees as a bonus. And at the end of the year, you can't keep the money, so I encourage them to give it away. And I want everybody to get it. And I've had some people get more than one. I'd say our office is a combination of of course, Mad Men, of course, because we're in the advertising business, so I have to choose that. Uh, the only thing we don't get is the, the cocktails at lunch, uh, you know, around the office like Mad Men. If you had to relate Glenn Mead to a TV show, I think I'd choose two, probably a combination of Cheers and Big Bang Theory. Bang. This is a group of very high-performing, smart individuals who you'd want to have a beer with. Loan Logic's most successful philanthropic initiative would be the work that we do for the American Cancer Society. The Hope Gala, an event that happens every year, has raised over a million dollars to help fight cancer. Our company culture is unique because of the passion and diversity of the people that we have. We also kind of have crazy fun, as I'd like to say, from burying someone's cubicle and balloons on their birthday, um, you know, to creating and having a resident baker who will make a crazy cake full of M&Ms kind of thing. We hired a consulting firm from India to help us with some of the outsourcing just because we were growing so fast. And uh, the gentleman that came out, I decided I wanted to really take him out to lunch, make sure that he was welcomed into our company, trying to do the right thing. And I took him to Cheeseburger in Paradise. A lot of people from India do not eat meat. And so that was extremely embarrassing. One word to describe Sustainable Solutions company culture is integrity. We are always in integrity with each other. We live sustainability. It's not just our work, it's our life's work. So I put a vase in the middle of the room and I say, can you tell me with 100% certainty what's on my side of the vase? The only way somebody will truly know what's on my side, if they can't get up, right, and look at my side, is ask me a question. Now you're getting deeper down. You're going to think of something that I may not be thinking of. 
Think Brownstone's company culture is unique because we fully embrace all of our core values. We're dedicated to working together, constantly improving, being honest, kind, and of service to each other, our clients, and our community. If I had to give one word to describe our culture, it would be passion. But I would prefer two words, and that would be passionate people. I think our company culture is deliberate. We want to act deliberately and deliver solutions that take our customers to a specific place, and I think that that really is pervasive throughout the whole culture. Uh, we have a profit sharing, so they know they can benefit when we all win, when we keep a client happy, when we grow client base, and we are profitable, they benefit from it. The TV show that's most like our workplace is actually The Office. All the crazy things has happened, but they really were a team in a lot of ways, and there was an actual fondness for each other. My HR guy warned me not to say Mad Men. I've never watched the show, so I know one character, Don Draper, and I don't know what it, so he told me, do not say that one, whatever you do. So, John, not saying that one. <laughs> uh, I would think more like a 30 Rock. Our most coveted incentive would be discounted or free rent. And it's a win-win because our residents have eyes on site all the time, and that just makes us faster to react and take care of things. The most coveted incentive of Samaritan is to have the opportunity to work in this kind of environment, to do this kind of work that, that is sacred and is such a privilege. One word to describe our company, the company culture would be entertaining. People get along very well and a lot of the surveys we do with our employees, it's always the people there and uh, it's great working with them. Uh, something that makes our company culture unique is uh, a motto that we use, which is leave your ego at the door. Collaboration is critical to our success. It's uh, collaboration with our clients, collaboration with one another, and ego just really gets in the way. Um, so we make sure everybody knows that motto when they, when they walk through the door. And it's really led to, to a lot of success for us. I think Brownstone's mascot is the Uncle B. Uh, in the early days when we were founding the company, whenever we would buy lunch or take, take um, our employees out to dinner or a meal or a team to a meal, we would always say it's on Uncle B. That has evolved into the Uncle B Award, which is an award given to the employee who best represents our core values, voted for by their co-workers. You can't really do make a culture by committee. It has to reflect sort of the viewpoint of the leader and how the leader envisions success for the company. You have to make sure that it stays on track to get us where we need to go. Our company culture, I would describe in one word as hesed, which means steadfast. And what I mean by that is we're dedicated and committed to our employees, our, their families, as well as to our clients. We take great pride in giving back to the community. Probably the thing that we value the most is a contribution we made to uh, Mitchell Elementary School, which is a uh, public school at 56th and King Sessing. That was a big deal. I mean, that was making a difference. I think you have to be a cheerleader today. And I think you have to walk the walk. I want to have fun at work. I want our team to have fun at work. And we want to promote family. If I had to use one word to describe Lone Logic's culture, it would be innovative. We were founded on innovation, and our founders surrounded themselves with people who always wanted to innovate to make everything better. Our office mascot is Fred. Um, it's actually a picture of a dog sitting in front of a computer. Um, long ago, when the company was just getting started, we got so lazy that we never put his picture up. It used to sit on the front, uh, at the front desk and on the chair, and I used to kid everyone that that was our receptionist. I think what makes us unique in, in a restaurant business, it's that ability to take someone who has very little experience and, and teach them management skills or, or culinary skills or brewery skills and, and I watch them grow uh, throughout our organization. So. My routines are rituals that have helped me be an effective leader essentially revolve around a process of continuous learning and development. And we collaborate in a number of different ways. Actually, our collaboration starts at 6 in the morning. We have a gym uh, on the first floor of our office and oftentimes you'll see you know, a third of our employees working out together in the morning. You'll see them having breakfast together in the morning. If there's one word I'd use to describe our company's culture, it, it's joyful. Joy in the problems that we solve every day for our clients, joy in the work that we do together uh, and how we collaborate, and joy in how we interact and do work with our clients. 
I believe the secret to building a successful culture is constant nurturing of your people, making sure they understand how important they are to the company and to the customers that they take care of every day. The company's most coveted incentive is uh, early dismissal on Fridays. Uh, it originally started as something that we as a firm called the summer hours. In my experience, that's pretty much at the end of tax season all the way through the end of the year, so it's really kind of a cool thing. Glenmead has on its onboarding site for new employees our Spotify playlist. We had a vote as to what, um, what songs should be on that list, and the number one song was Happy. Drop along if you feel like happiness is the truth. 